like spend most of our time studying. Studying. <laughs> so, <laughs> studying. Um, I feel like going out is necessary. Um, Just smart, smart. <laughs> mm, but Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not hot, all these lies need to stop. Cause I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight. Hey guys, today I have a guest with me. This is Brittany. Hey y'all. She, um, she's my friend from Emory. And today, so I got a request to do an update video, a college update video at Emory. She came here on a banking track. She's a business major. So she's in New York right now, chilling with me. And so I was like, it's a good time to do this video, feel me? So we have a couple of questions and we're just gonna do it in a Q&A format. Okay, so the first question has to do with like rooming. Um, and so basically just like where do we live on campus um, and what's our roommate situation like? You got this? Mm -hmm. I got it. <laughs> this year we're living in Woodruff Residential. Each room is like a suite, like you have two people, two people, and then y'all share a bathroom. And this year I got lucky because our suite mates never moved in. So <laughs> so basically I have a super single and I share a bathroom with like one girl and like we're chilling. Like we're far from main campus. Guys, like, we're all the way to the <laughs> like, It's like a, what, like a 10 minute walk to get to the duck and then like eight minutes to get to Cox. But it's all good though. Those are um, our dining halls, by the way. I don't mess with so, them. Like, so I ain't gonna lie, I don't mess with it. I mean, it's kind of dirty, I'm not gonna lie, but like. <laughs> Send that subtly. <laughs> but we have like really big rooms and we That's have true. like late night food. That's true. So I live in the same place. But like, compared to last year, I was living lavishly in Raul. <laughs> like, yeah, the Woodruff is like not it right now. Uh, we can like talk about our majors. So I'm a business major with like planning to do a concentration in finance. And I might do a double major in math or marketing or something like that. Um, Just smart, smart. <laughs> mm, but um, if y'all are looking to business, I think it's a really good choice. Like people are gonna try and scare you away from it because it is a lot of like white people. <laughs> like there's nothing yeah, like, wrong with that. I mean, like, like overall, we go to a PWI. Yeah. So, and then the business school is like even worse. Yeah. <laughs> but like they have really good resources. I think like 90% of the people who graduate from the business school come out with like a really good job. So they have like a good career center. The person, like the admissions persons, like she has drop ins like five what is it five days a week like every day you can go in like she'll tell you like what classes you should do like who you should be networking with um they have a huge alumni board like it's pretty good like i like i'm excited for the business school facts emory's business school i, I don't even know how to pronounce it i'm not gonna lie Go is that a yeah it's <laughs> yeah. great like yeah so if you're interested in that um I'll probably leave Brittany's information linked down below and i don't know if she's feeling nice she'll answer your questions <laughs> yeah yeah so me <laughs> I've been like switching back and forth between pre-med and business for the long like the whole two years now um, So this is like this is gonna be our second semester of sophomore year I think last time I did the video I was business <laughs> and honestly like it, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys it changes every week For right now I'm pre-med. I feel like Emory is mostly known for pre-med So like it's a given that the coursework is gonna be really hard and like it weeds out a lot of people which is why I've been like so flip-floppy but it's definitely worth it if you get through it. I'm not gonna lie, it's like a nightmare, but yeah. <laughs> it's worth it. Chemistry is not it. Another question is like talking about friends this year versus last year. Like, I don't know, just like relationships you had last year or compared to this year. So last semester, I met like a large group of people during orientation. And I was like, yo, like, they're cool. Like, we're probably going to be friends, like, all four years. And any upperclassmen who I talk to, they're like, nah, like, it's going to be, like, two of y'all <laughs> by sophomore year or junior year. And they were not lying. I think it's mostly because, like, freshman year, everyone's on main campus. And then sophomore year, like, you have people off, like, on Woodruff. You have people at Claremont. And then you have, like, people at Harris. And it's all, like, really far. And then you have people who... Some people even live off campus because they didn't get housing. Yeah, like. exactly. <laughs> And like you have people who are like just chilling, like they don't study that much, like you know. And then you have people who are in the library or like in study lounges all the time. And then I think after that, like you'll find your group. Like with us, I think it's like you have like mainly three, four people we like consistently hang out with. But now we're mostly like going off campus and like spend most of our time studying, studying, <laughs> <laughs> studying. Um, <laughs> I think that's the biggest difference is like priorities and like 
how people want to yeah. spend their time. Like, it's no hard feelings or anything, but... Like, people tell you in college, you, like, find yourself and you learn more about yourself. So I feel like that goes hand in hand with, like, the relationships you have with other people because as you grow and learn more about yourself, mm -hmm. you're able to, like, identify which, like, people that you do and don't want to hang out with based on, like, how similar they are to you. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely why, like, freshman year compared to sophomore year, your circle's gonna be smaller. Like, not to throw shade at every people, but, like, I'd definitely be hanging out with people off campus more than people oh, on yeah. campus. Why is that, though, like... What do you think? I feel like it's because, like, since the community is so small, we see them every day. That's true. So, like, we want to see new faces on the weekend. Oh, that kind of goes along with the next question. It's about social life now versus then. Like... I don't know, I guess like this, <coughs> the school slash like going out balance. Like when we first got here, we had like, you know, all this freedom and like, we're like, oh, like school's not that hard. Like, you know, we can go out and like do all this stuff. And then like once midterm seasons, midterm season comes or like final season comes, like, nah. But um, <laughs> so, but this year we're still like, I mean, I'm personally still trying to find the right balance with like going out and like staying in and like knowing when to like do some prep for the next week or like study for an upcoming test and like do homework and stuff like that. I feel like going out is necessary because like staying, <laughs> no honestly, <laughs> because like staying on campus and like you know always having so much work and like it's stressful and then like I feel like it's not like healthy. Mm -hmm. Cause you can, you can definitely do that like with Emory. You yeah. like, they give you enough work so that you can literally sit there 24 seven, like seven days a week just doing homework. Yeah. But that's definitely not healthy. Yeah. First semester freshman year for me was like actually terrible. I don't know where my mind was at <laughs> because I would be up like four, five, six a.m. There's this one freshman dorm called Complex and they have like <laughs> ping pong and pool and stuff there. So we would be yeah. there until like five a.m. all hours like. And then second semester, I didn't go out at all because we don't talk about that. But like, <laughs> I didn't go out at all. <laughs> and then this semester is kind of like in between that. Um, but I still feel like I should be dedicating more time to like studying and less to going out. So hopefully, fourth time's a charm. Like second <laughs> yeah. semester, sophomore year, we got yeah. this. So the next question <laughs> is, what have you learned from past semesters? And I guess like, how has it helped you to grow into who you are now? Definitely like. In high school, I didn't study at all. I don't know, but like, I just didn't <laughs> study and I still did well. Yeah. But in college, it's not like that. Okay. So that like, it's, this has been probably the hardest thing for me, but is learning how to study, like what works best for you. Because like, depending on the class, you're gonna have to study differently. And you also have to know like, what helps you to memorize things better or to like, work more efficiently. So like, it's weird, but you actually have to dedicate time to learning how to study like, most effectively. I think the biggest thing that I've learned is like I've always considered myself like very independent like oh like I don't need help you yeah, yeah stuff like that whereas in college yeah you have to be independent like knowing how to like do this and this by yourself but you cannot solely rely on yourself to like do well in classes I feel like making a connection like with either your TAs or like your professor like friends like you have to be comfortable with like asking people for help because a lot of the material is tough. Um, I know in high school I hated asking for help. Like I prefer to like just stay in my <laughs> yeah, like just stay in my room and like learn something by myself. But I feel like in college you have to know how to like get out of your comfort zone and like utilize the like the resources that are necessary to do. Well like dating at Emory, like oh. talking to people on campus. Oh um so 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 <laughs> I don't know. I would advise, it all depends, I guess it's a case-to-case -case situation, but when I first got there, like, like the upper classroom would tell me, like, oh, like, don't talk to anyone at Emory, like, you know, off campus, like, because it's, a, the black community is so small, and, like, people talk, people are going to know your business, like, even if you think you're telling, like, someone who won't, like, go run in their mouth, like, people be running their mouth, and, um, so that's a little bit dangerous, like, I guess if you don't care about people talking, like, just whatever. But people will definitely talk and, like, just be aware of that if you do choose to, like, mess with someone or, like, talk to someone at Emory. Um, off campus, you have to, like, pick and choose because if you do talk to someone off campus, it's, like, Uber and back and forth. They're uh, trade-offs. Yeah, like, they're definitely trade-offs. Like, whereas Emory, like, you can just, like, walk to someone's dorm or, like, walk to the library and meet up, so. For me? I like I have not talked to anyone at Emory and it wasn't on purpose when I, okay so when I got to school my guy friends told me I'm a walking relationship so that's why like none of the guys wanted to talk to me apparently but I don't care I'm chilling 
Anyway, so <laughs> the, basically for me, my only other option was to go off campus, but that's still, like, it was really good because actually like, no one knew who, like, I was talking to or any of my business, and that was great because they only knew what I told them. Um, and then it's also, like, if the other person was talking about me, they, I don't go to their school, they don't know me. <laughs> um, but then it's like, when I tell y'all I was Ubering to a with no car, like, <laughs> spending mad uber money oh gosh, yeah. going over there like i don't know i was stupid back then but i know better now so um and then you can just do like one last one about in our involvement on campus like any extracurriculars <laughs> that we enjoy or like we're doing it for our like major career or whatever so this i don't know i'm used to like being involved a lot on campus because like i did that in high school but in college you really have to like be careful to like plan your schedule because last semester I was a supervisor at my job. I was a part of Goizeta Business School Association. No. Ah, wait, <laughs> what's it called? GSA. Oh, yeah, Goizeta Black Student Alliance. Yeah, sorry. Um, I was a supervisor at my job. I was a part of ACES, which is a Caribbean group. Y'all should join. Um, what else was I a part of? I was a part of Women in Finance. Uh, I was a more mentor and I like there's something else. She was doing but, that. Yeah, like, I was hey. doing a lot. And it came to That was last year too, sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was also the president of the basketball team, the club basketball team. So I was like a part of a lot and like I was taking some pretty tough courses. Um, this past semester I had to cut down. So I'm taking a break from basketball. I would advise getting involved on campus, but then also knowing like being able to plan out your schedule so you can have more time for classes and studying and stuff like that um but do stuff that you care about and also that pertains to your major if that makes sense yeah i definitely agree with like all of that completely because i was actually the opposite like freshman year i wasn't involved with that many things i think like first semester i tried to do this um Thing called Nyambika, but I definitely like I quit. I don't know, I'm a quitter sometimes. Um, <laughs> oh I quit God. that, and then so the whole first semester I wasn't doing anything, but then second semester I joined this dance group called Vibes. It's part of ACES that she's a part of, but she's the exec board. Um, you are too now. Yeah, I am too now. <laughs> um, and I think that was all I was doing first year, but then now I'm still not doing that much, but I'm on the ACES exec board now. Um, I'm going to apply to be a more mentor. Uh, what else? Oh, I was, last year I was working also as a scorekeeper, um, and that's about it. Um, okay, so I, that's like all the questions I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and like, thank Brittany for answering these questions also. Um, I'll link all her information down below. You guys can ask her a question, ask me questions in the comments and stuff. Hit us up on, like, social media, whatever. Peace, deuces, see you later!